So I just learned through a subscriber leaving a comment that Napa County, we had another fire, the Snell fire in Napa County. And before I even begin, I don't want to freak anybody out. Yes, there was evacuations, but they have been lifted for the Snell fire in Napa County. And this apparently started Saturday. It is now Monday at 11.47 p.m. And I get one comment from a subscriber today. Uh, did anybody else know about this fire? I checked a plaintruth.info's channel. He hasn't reported on it. All right. This was a rather explosive fire. Evacuations, mandatory evacuations, road closures in the Snell Fire in Napa County. Um, they were lifted this morning. But I can't believe that not one subscriber alerted me to this fire. It's two days now. And it apparently was pretty intense. Snell fire burning in Napa County. So far, more than 1,700 acres have burned and nearly 200 structures, structures are threatened at this hour. Andrea Nakano has more on the firefight and evacuations underway. It's quite a scene here in the Berryessa Estates community. As you can see behind me, the fire is literally in the backyards of these homes, putting roughly 180 homes in this community in danger. The Snell fire started around 2.30 this afternoon. Ten air tankers, dozers, hand crews, and 60 engines immediately attacked the fire. This area around Lake Berryessa has a history of fires, and firefighters are well aware of the dangers they pose to communities that only have one way in and one way out. All right, so the guy that's interviewed, he says, we know this area, um, we have history putting fires out in this area, and that's why we were able to get on it and push it back and contain it and okay wonderful um watch this video this is infrared an infrared recording of the snell fire and it kind of looks like little mini explosions And then it takes on a really explosive look to it. What's all that black stuff? So I guess this is it exploding as the fires do in California. They explode, 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 explode. So I just wanted to show you that. How could it be? Nothing on Drudge, nothing on Zero Hedge, nothing. How could this escape me? Uh, Delta Fire, the I-5 is open. It reopened this morning. The Hearst Fire is 97% contained. Now the Hearst Fire, that just a couple of days ago, wow, they almost got full containment within a couple of days. It was only 45% contained when I was posting on the Delta Fire. But the Delta and the Curlin blazes grow. Dunsmuir was not evacuated which is good. Um, and you guys in this area, if you have more information on what's happening with the Delta fire, could you leave a comment below? Because I, I'm not able to find much information in terms of what is taking place. Now, I got a comment just a few hours ago from a subscriber who, and I might get uh, the familial facts a little wrong, I can't remember, but I think 
He said he ha his wife has family in Southern California, and they were the the family in Southern California were reporting back to them that mainstream media is hyping the fires, meaning that they're not as bad. If anybody else has any information, look, we are now living a time when you cannot trust mainstream media and you can't trust anybody. The only people that you can trust are the people that you do trust on the ground in the area that an event is taking place. You know them and you trust what they are saying to you. That's how bad Americans lie and, you know, or exaggerate or can't quite figure out the right words to describe, you know, what they see. Um, you just need to really trust the people on the ground. And if you are in an area and you know that there were flash floods or fires or something that you feel needs to be reported, then could you please pass along, you know, the information, the local news uh, articles, the links to the local news articles? You can pass it along to me or pass it along to someone that, you know, if you don't like how I, um, you know, don't like my reporting on things. I don't want to say reporting because I'm not a reporter, but pass it along to someone. It is almost impossible now to find information, and I am really struggling. So in the past couple of days, I've been doing searches on YouTube, flash flooding. But I've had to go through, either I have to put in the state name and the flash flooding, or I have to put in the city where the flash flooding occurred. And I can't do that for all of the states. So if you happen to be in an area that you are experiencing something like that, please uh, leave the link in a comment below, you know, the last video that I post, or you can send it via email. My email address is smiling rock, smiling without the G, S M I L I N rocks. R O C K S at gmail.com. Um, this, yeah, you know, when I heard about the snow fire, I was like, okay, something's very wrong that I didn't hear from anybody on this. All right, I also want to bring your attention to Sonoma County. Yes. You finally got an updated emergency alert system. And that was prompted due to the fires last year. Are you kidding me? How much how much do you guys pay in taxes? And they don't even have a fire alert system that works in every county in California. The, last year was not the first year that you had fires. You had fires the year before that that were devastating. The year before that that were devastating. How is it that Sonoma County had not updated their emergency alert system? That is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, there's no excuse for this, and you should be running your, your officials, your government officials, out of office. So they revamped their emergency alert system, and they were motivated by last year's fire to do that. Fire survivors... The, the biggest complaint, the lack of communication in the face of a firestorm. So listen to this guy, Michael Williams, who says, an emergency alert system is absolutely necessary. Well, yeah. He lost his home in the Tubbs fire almost a year ago. He also said this, maybe we could have gotten some things out of our house if we had one, uh, an alert system. And maybe there's people's lives that could have been saved if we had one, an alert system. Several of his neighbors lost their lives in the tub fire, in the tubs fire, and he said the emergency alert system could have made a difference. There wasn't one. 
a phone call, or anything. And for that matter, the cops didn't even come into the neighborhood and say, over there, PA, to evacuate. So now the county has updated its emergency notification system. Do you see something wrong with that? I do. That they didn't have this alert system in place last year? There's something very wrong with that. What the hell are they doing? You know, fires, fires, climate change, oh my God, drought, red flag, warnings all over California. And this is not just the first year or last year wasn't the first year. Two years ago wasn't the first year. So what the hell are they doing with your money? Uh, the county now has updated its emergency notification system to use a combination of calls, texts, and cell phone alerts. Wednesday. All right, Monday they had a test involving 280,000 residents and they received a phone call. Wednesday, the county will issue wireless emergency alerts and send texts out to five different geo locations. Geo locations? Just friggin' say locations. Five different locations in the county, which can be activated independently depending on the need. I'm not sure I get that. Um, I guess you have to activate the texts. Well, that doesn't sound like a great alert system. Anyway, um, I, I've gotten emergency alerts, amber alerts, on my phone. And that's just like a flip top phone. But it had that weird, it wasn't a ring, it's like a a weird noise. Now, my phone was on. I guess when the phone is off, you're not going to get anything. But um, I don't understand the independent activation depending on need. All right. Um, if you have a fire and there's an alert, an emergency alert, wouldn't you think everybody in that county would be in need of that alert? Am I reading that wrong? I don't know. All right, so the guy that supervised the test on Monday, who's going to be supervising it on Tuesday, this is what he says. If people aren't prepared with a go bag, if they don't know that red flag warnings truly are our equivalent of hurricane warnings for fire, is that right? All right. I, I've i seen maps. Red flag warning all of the counties in red. But there's no fire. So hurricane warnings come about when there's a hurricane. Red flag warnings. It, it, tell me if I'm wrong. I have seen so many counties under red flag warnings and there's no fire nearby. So I thought the red flag warning was due to temperature, dry conditions, uh, drought, whatever, but there was no fire. So this guy is saying it's the equivalent of a hurricane warning, which means if you're under a red flag warning, you better be prepared to go on a moment's notice because a fire could erupt. Hell, you know, we've been told when it's when you have those dry conditions and I've posted videos on this wind they're saying that wind high winds could start fires. Okie dokie. So um, you need to take personal responsibility, and if you don't, then we're, then we're not going to get anywhere. You need to take personal responsibility. You're being reprimanded by 
Gore. Oh God, Gore. James Gore. Um, the truth is now, you're being told by James Gore, by me, by an awful lot of people, that you need to be ready to go on a moment's notice, no matter where you live in the country now. So Wednesday's text alert, test, there's a survey. They're going to ask questions. Did you receive this on your cell phone? And who is your carrier? The reason is that carriers are not required by law to push these alerts through. And the survey will help system administrators figure out which carriers are sending the texts. Um, are they saying that your carrier will receive the alert, but just say, to hell with it, I'm not going to send out that alert to them. Are you kidding? Is something else going on here that they want the information about who your carrier is? I don't know. Everything is so shady these days. So uh, that's all the information that I have. Please, um, you know, just in case they send out these alert systems, uh, these these tests that they'll be having, circulate this information to those in Sonoma County because if they don't know about this emergency alert system test, and they get one of those texts and it doesn't say this is a test, that could really freak people out, especially after what they suffered, the devastation they suffered in Sonoma County last year. So that's all the news I have. Hope you have a good night. Hope you sleep well. And wow, what a time we are all living.